Hey gang, welcome back. Today, uh, motorcycle crash protection companies told me to go out and test their products. What they wanted me to do, they asked me, drive up this road, hit a mad wheelie, second gear, all right, go as fast as you can, and then tip it all the way back. Do a little scrape, and then just absolutely slide out right there. And so that is exactly what I did, and guess how much they're paying me? Nothing. I did this out of my own kindness. First off, we have how well did the exhaust do? Well, Leo Vents doing pretty good so far. This is the second crash it's been through, and it's doing just solid. Let's make our way down here to the T-Rex racing. Wow! Look at those axle sliders. Really saving my life over here. Let's move our way up. Okay, these are basic plastics. They're doing great so far. It took the brunt. That's just fine. Move down here. Ooh, Tecmo. Good job, Tecmo. You're really taking this um, the shift lever pretty nicely, aren't you? Aw, oh, look at that. Not doing so good there, Husqvarna. You're getting your uh, kickstand shaved off. All right, let's move up here. Oh, okay. Good job, Rottweiler. You took that hit pretty well. And Husqvarna, you did pretty good with these handguards, didn't you? All right, that was fun. Um, let's look at Morgan. Wow, did that shoe just lose a couple laces? Maybe, maybe. There's one of them. There's another one. Somewhere over in that little patch. Here's the plan for the way home. Let me just put y'all back in the helmet. Here's the plan to get home, right? Um, right now, we're in second gear. Oh, sorry. Third gear. And we cannot shift gears, because as I showed you, us Gavarna and their gear shifter did not do the best right there. So what we're going to do is uh, be in third gear the entire drive home. Oh, yeah. I can just already tell it loves doing that. But, uh, yeah, so what I was doing, just going out to see my girlfriend. Um, then I was just having fun going up that hill, looped it, crashed, oh boy. I'm actually really surprised. The bars didn't bend at all. I mean, it still functionally feels fine. And so I crashed, I was like, huh, that's a bummer, and I just kept going. I just shipped it down, God damn it. Anyways, now I'm in second gear. Um, I'm gonna have to ship back into third because this is just too much vibrations for me. I just drove from there all the way to my girlfriend in um, whatever gear that was, uh, second gear, and it was just too vibration. So I threw it in third gear and I accidentally took it out of third gear. Anyways, everything seems fine on the bike. Everything seems fine on the bike. I'm just glad the handlebars didn't bend, but hopefully that shifted. We'll we'll find out. Third. Maybe. Yeah. Anyways, like I was saying, see, third we can do the speed limit just fine. But, uh, yeah, I'm like, the bike is overall really well. I love that all the protection things I bought for it did their job. It's just, <laughs> I told myself. If I ever get another crash and rip up my jeans, I'm going to buy motorcycle jeans. So I guess what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go buy some motorcycle, motorcycle jeans. But I mean, the only thing I need to fix is the uh, shift lever. And I just scraped up my knee just a little bit. Uh, I love this jacket too. Oh, I didn't even realize there was a hole in it. Oh well. But uh, yeah, the jacket did just fine. Even the back, I was sliding on my back for a good bit. And, and, it, and it took it like a champ. Uh, I rubbed my helmet just a little bit, but my head didn't really hit the ground. I just kind of like laid down backwards and just start sliding. And of course, no one was around me. I don't really do wheelies when there's like a bunch of people around me. It was a very safe crash, if you'll accept that as an answer. Probably won't. That's that. I was going to make a full video, but now I'm not. I'm just going to get home for today, clean up my leg a little bit, and then the bike. I'm fine. I'm not hurt, other than my leg just got scratched up a little bit. Wear your gear, wear your jacket, and wear riding pants. Bye-bye. So I'm in the barn now. It's much later. Um, just kind of fixing some things up. And I'll just go over the Tecmo real quick, the case cover. So there's the damages right there. As you can see, this was rubbing against it. I already bent this back into shape. But anyways, let me just... Uh, anyways, so what I'm going to do, I will kick the kickstand down. And I can pop it off, let me, not the kickstand, sorry, the gear shift. So anyways, here it is. There's where the scratching was. Um, it's really not bad. 
It's really not bad at all. And like here on the the case, it's just scratch. It's nothing awful. So I think I did a pretty good job. I think that would have probably not gone into the case. Probably not gone into the case, but you know, just hurt a little more. And then going over the T-Rex sliders. So here's the back, and this is the only one that got hit. The front is fine. Um, yeah, it did perfect. It kept it off of everything else. So I really do like that. I could have imagined that all of this would have been nice and scuffed up, but it's all looking pretty good. And here's the front, as you can see, not even touched. It was really just this thing right here that got hurt, if anything. So, okay. And of course, giant hole in the exhaust. But everything else looks looking good. Wow, it's blurry, I don't know why.